Um, I'm Andre, and this is Alex, my co-founder of Technomap, uh, and um, we're going to share a few um, yeah, insights from, from the beta phase of our platform with you, so how annotations are actually used. And um, but before doing this, um, I would like to explain briefly what Paperhive actually is, so we know what we're talking about. And um, so, um, what problems are we solving? Um, so I'm a I'm a researcher, and um, yeah, while working on my PhD, I realized that the communication among scientists is not really optimal. I guess you all know that, and. Um, for example, one of my papers was in peer review for three years, and um, so I guess that's not really the, the, the speed of iteration that you would like to have in, in research. And um, <laughs> also the communication about uh, papers that are already published is so slow, you usually do it only at conferences, or maybe in the same building, for me, it was the math department at U Berlin. Um, so uh, I decided to change that to uh, create a, a collaboration platform for researchers. And uh, well, this is what um, what Paperknife is. It's a collaboration hub for uh, researchers. Um, I will give you a very short um, uh, demo of the platform. How it looks like. Um, so this is an example paper uh, written by Marina Vietzowska. It uh, it solves a very difficult mathematical problem released uh, two months ago, and um, so you can read the paper and you can see uh, annotations. I mean, you're all annotation experts here, so you know what annotations are good for. So you can share uh, additional. Um, news articles, for example, there is a link to another paper that was very important for the work. Uh, you can add uh, formulas, let me see, there should be another comment here, yeah, I have a question, it's unanswered, yeah, perhaps it's not yet shown. Um, you can correct things, you can add, uh, here's a link uh, pointing to another document that um, is based on, on this result and it proves that the result is also true for for a, a more general class. So, okay, I guess you all know um, what annotations are uh, good for. Um, Paperhive is an integrated platform, so it's not just an annotation thing, it's uh, something where you can actually uh, work. You can, uh, for example, bookmark or hive a document, which means that you get notifications for um, for this document. So imagine you're a PhD student, you're working on, on the subject, you definitely want to know if something new shows up on this document. So, um, yeah, that's the... the hmm? Ah, yeah. Yeah, so I was missing something. Um, so we have also the browser extension, which is very valuable if you... Um, if you browse the web and, for example, you hit a paywall, like we do here now, um, so I guess some of you know the open access button, we take this a bit further, we directly show if there is an open access version of one article, so you can just click it and then you can, you can read the article here. Um, so this solves the problem of how to, how to find uh, annotations. It also, also shows you that there are annotations on the document, like here, you can see the, the tiny six indicator that there are six discussions going on in this document. And yeah, at PaperLife we think that the, the annotations should be very structured, so it should be a very structured uh, discussion, only dealing with one specific uh, topic in a, um, in a document. So it should not be like the sticky notes uh, thing in Adobe, for example. Okay, so yeah, maybe just a quick uh, summary of the um, of the features and benefits of paper maps. So you develop a, a web of knowledge. Um, readers help each other, and um, I didn't say that the the comments are um, licensed under Creative Commons license. Um, so you can do whatever you want with it.
it basically if you give attribution. Um, you can add formulas or images or links, whatever you want, data, code. Um, and we're also closely following the uh, W3C uh, standard of graft um, to allow interchange of data. So if someone is willing to interchange data with us, just talk to us later. Um, you can have deep links, linking to a specific part of the, of the text to um, share uh, something in, in the text. Um, we're integrated, this means that um, we have search features uh, which are targeted at uh, researchers and we have hives for personalized um, notifications. So, uh, I guess now Alex will take over and explain how the um, interface looks like. Thank you, thank you very much. Have for me. Um, so, uh, as I said, the, the main goal of our talk today was to present uh, how this uh, specific feature in our platform, the annotation, was uh, used um, in a small beta test that we conducted in the beginning uh, of March and February, beginning of March. We did this um, with a very nice group of uh, young master and PhD students here in Berlin uh, with the Berlin Mathematical School. So this is a picture of us, I believe we are also on it. Uh, they were very, very kind to, to join us and just um, look at our platform and use it for their most important daily work. Um, so, uh, what were the settings of the pilot beta test? Um, the Berlin Mathematical School is a something like a network between the three biggest universities in Berlin. Uh, there are approximately seven mathematics fields that were presented. Um, approximately 200 students are in this program, and we reach them per mail, basically. Uh, in this wonderful mail, we're inviting them to go to paperhive or better and um, to uh, just sign up and use it. Uh, we included two papers by students in the, um, in the GMS. Uh, this is an important point. We tried to focus on two relevant, as we called, uh, documents for them. And we had approximately two bases of observation in which we um, wrote an email again to a few months. Um, a few general results. Uh, so uh, we were not uh, we were expecting something about uh, I don't know Facebook or Twitter with many many people uh, working on the documents. So uh, when we had 30 signups and approximately 20 comments by different researchers um, on different papers, not necessarily the two that were presented to them. Um, and there were afterwards we conducted 15 feedback interviews. Um, a big piece of information that I didn't mention is that the documents that currently are integrated with Paperhive include all of the uh, archive articles. Though in the next, uh, so these are approximately 1.2 million articles, um, and in the next week we're going to include uh, a few million more, simply ten times more. Uh, what archive? Um, there are a lot of mathematics papers, so basically any one who's in this field will be happy with, with the content available. Um, from the feedback interviews, we, we learned why the people commented or why they didn't, what they liked about it. Um, the next two subsections will be dedicated first to a few annotation examples, what do people actually wrote down in the platform, and uh, the second part after this will be uh, a few three big takeaways for the academic collaboration, um, in part in this case by, by annotations. The first set of examples were dedicated to different types of questions uh, that researchers, young researchers in this case, uh, ask. Um, they involve stuff like uh, solution paths um, or, or questions about further literature uh, or just. Um, questions for the explanation of something very, very, very hard. Um, the problem with mathematics papers sometimes, and scientific texts in general, is that they are incredibly compressed. So statements 
are often per definition nuclear. Uh, the second type of annotations in this academic context were dedicated to improvements of the papers. Um, from simple co uh, corrections of typos or content or important typos probably in formula to um, once again clarification of statements, not asking for help but just explaining what the meaning of a specific um, statement should be. Um, and then again, simplifications for inter interdisciplinary readers. The last big group of example, uh, annotation examples were dedicated to the enrichment of content. So I would call this something like the altruistic researcher uh, who either does it for the benefit of all or uh, does it because they want to increase their personal visibility to show that they know stuff or to include some um, further reading, sometimes, thank you, sometimes their own um, literature. Exactly. So what are the few uh, general takeaways? Uh, the, the biggest one for us was that the documents obviously comes first. It was not enough that we presented two papers that were relevant for the for the for the group. The group of uh, two group mathematicians seemed to be uh, well not that uh, not that the not that the focus um, focus one. Um, it's important which part of the document uh, exactly is discussed. So uh, as, as you know, the, the scientific documents have different portions from the abstract and introduction to results and conclusion and results, for example, are much more widely discussed than, say, the abstract or the intro. Or the intro. Uh, another thing, a uh, big thing, is of course the distinction between working papers, preprints and published articles. Preprints offer a much more welcoming environment for, for any kind of discussion. Second big part, a huge distinction between public and private discussion. Uh, we did not offer uh, private discussions back then, though uh, almost all of the participants in the private beta uh, asked for it. Basically, people, scientists, seem to have a certain fear of discussing publicly, because these discussions become a part of the scientific discourse. So any word is taken very seriously, and people try to, to really Make it, make it beautiful if they write it all. Grammar is better in the public discussions than in the private ones. Uh, the last big takeaway usage supervised or forced by somebody, by a teacher, is much higher. Fair enough, we'll, be, we'll have a few minutes more questions. Uh, our next steps for the platform after the small private beta and the improvements afterwards are a big partnership for us with the um, Library Consortium Knowledge Knowledge. They make books open access, so we just started in partnership with them making discussions and usage, collaborative reading of humanities books possible. Thank you very much. And we have about five minutes uh, for questions from Paper Hive. So in the 30 seconds, it took me to sign up, sign in, find one of my papers, and annotate it. Well done. Uh, I wondered how to get access to my annotation. Yeah, Do you have documentation about APIs and, and so forth? Yeah, so I'm one of the developers and um, documentation is still bad, sorry. Um, <laughs> you know how this works. Um, but uh, yeah, we can chat afterwards about integrating this with your yeah. <laughs> So yeah, th there is an API first, I uh, want to clarify that. So that there, there is an API, the comments are a Creative Commons um, license, so you can use the content from our platform. Any other questions for PaperHive? All right, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.